I'm meeting up with a fish expert from the University of Pará, Dr. Jonathan Reddy. He has a couple of specimens in a tank so I can get my first proper look at an electric eel. These fish are using their electric capability all the time. They're constantly sending out little pulses. Smaller eels like these deliver a less powerful shock than the larger ones, but they can still pack a punch. Wearing protective rubber gloves, Jonathan shows me this by hooking one up to a bank of LEDs. It lights them up using muscles that have been modified into thousands of special cells, which work in a similar way to AA batteries. Each individual cell generates around a tenth of a volt, but when they all fire together, a large pulse is produced. It uses this high voltage to shock prey and for defence. So this voltage is, just for a very short while, 400, 500 volts. Uh, the bigger eels, then uh, they're known to be up to 600 volts, or maybe even above. That's almost the same as the voltage produced by a heart defibrillator. Electric eels also generate a low energy pulse of around 10 volts, which they use to survey their surroundings, helping to compensate for their poor eyesight. It can see even in muddy water by using its electroreceptors to detect distortions in its electrical field. A pulse is emitted every few seconds, and these can be picked up by placing electrodes in the water and amplifying the signal. There you see a wave of signals as they try and work out what's going on. Um, so my finger in there wouldn't feel this, it's only... You wouldn't feel this. Small orienting pulses are harmless. But the bigger shocks are up to 65 times more powerful and can travel through water. When they're about to stun something, do you get yeah. much warning if they're going to do that? Do I hear a...? You will get some kind of warning, but it might not be too much for you to, to react in time. There you go. No problems. <laughs> no shock this time. I'm hoping this equipment will help me locate them in the wild. <laughs> 